Hello everyone, TrueBlade here, and welcome back to another episode of Metroid Fusion. In the last episode, we beat Ridley, got the screw attack, and have cleared out sectors 1 and 2 of all upgrades. In this episode, we're going to start off going into sector 3 here, and taking care of all the last of the upgrades here. Alright, right, I got that one a long time ago. Actually, wait, I need to spill a bit, bit of my speed booster for this. Alright. Blast through, blast the way through, and down, 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 down. Okay, made it. Back over this way here. Now, you want to drop a power bomb here. Which will reveal the. No, 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 no! Ah, there we go. Power bomb tank acquired. After that little frustration. And yes, as you saw. Screw attack will also break through normal bomb blocks. But in any case, we have a few upgrades, more upgrades we can get in here. We're going to start off by going back down here first, because the last upgrades I want to get are going to be right by the passageway to the next sector. We, we have to clear out stuff. So we're going to start over this way here. Build your speed booster, as always. In here, once again, power bomb. Because there's a passage we couldn't get to before without it. And I don't know how you, when you're supposed to be able to go this way with that, with that though. But honestly, though, the fact that that thing was there was pretty much pointless, given you can space jump a screw attack up there. But okay, start th go, just go, just go straight down here. Oh, actually, no, 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 no. That, that, that's not what we want to do first. We want to go the other way first. We'll get to there later. There is more back that way, but. But, first things first. Let's, let's get the stuff here first. And, nice to be able to walk into lava without any problems. Wow. Alright, power bomb to, to, to basically be able to blast through this part here. Now, this is a bit of a maze with invisible... with... passageways hidden by walls, so... You basically just want to keep going this way along this path here, jump up this way, roll through here, and jump up here and you got yourself a power bomb tank. You have to take that path. Otherwise we'll lead to dead end, so But that's but now that we got that, now we can go back the other way. This is this was back when we got those upgrades earlier a while back. That we could have I could have actually waited for these to make this to make those a lot easier to get. Because without having to worry about freezing those things now, I just, I could could have just space jumped over them. And not worried about that. You have to screw attack your way through this first. Now. Ow! I thought I killed that. But in any case, what you want to do is go, is build up your speed booster yet again. Crouch down and leap, shine spark straight up. Power bomb tank acquired. And you, and you see we just passed by another one, so let's fall right back down here and screw, screw attack your way through here. I think you can just blast that technically, but screw attack does all. So that's so we're almost done here in sector three now. Now the, there's one more area we got to go first, in in here. This you could have ended a long time ago, but if you had ended here your first visit, you would have gotten torn apart without the various suits. And you, we, you could have done part of this a long time. You could have gotten this missile tank, which is the final missile tank in the game. Like, that was our final missile tank. 250 missiles is our max. But there's actually a lot more to do in here than just that. First, but first you're going to want to go build your shine spark once again. Shine spark up this way. And have your space jump ready to get up to this energy tank. The other parts of here are decepting. They may you think you can get it, but get to it, but you can't. So you actually need your space jump for that. Okay, now somewhere around here is... A, there it is! Some screw attack blocks you can bl blast through, and you see that little path there? We are heading back to Sector 5. Very nice how we're going through all these sectors again. Now, Sector 5 
we actually could have finished this one a while ago. The upgrade that's hidden here that I have, I'm getting is actually one I actually forgot about. I could have gotten this one a long time ago, actually, in all fairness. You'll, you'll see in a little bit. Past the security room. And in here, we'll be initially escape the Essex wall. Now, you're going to have to... I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to show it up here. You you, need your power, you could have just done with your power bombs. Reveal that. Now, up here, you have these rippers here. Which, I'm going to try to see if I can do this the way they intended you to. Freezing the rippers right here. And, yep, there you go. And there... There you go, power bomb tank up there. That was the only upgrade we were missing in this sector, and I could have gotten it a while, a little while back. In fact, I could have gotten it when we first got the, the power bombs. I actually completely forgot about it. Well, that's everything in sector five now. So, so as we're going through here, it's like, I mean, you see, the DX were a very scary foe for us initially, being able to mimic everything. Including ourselves. But the thing is, with all these abilities and how the X kept getting. I'll talk with Adam Hissett about X getting stronger. Now, with all these abilities, especially with our screw attack, you see how easily we are tearing these things apart now. Although, the thing is, though, Adam did say there were 10 SAX aboard. Which actually is something that. that which actually is something that kind of disappointed me. At. Actually, the fact that it never really implemented that. Yes, yeah, spoiler alert, sorry. But, we're, we're, I think I can get the last of the upgrades in this video and at least get at least get to the final, try to see if I can get to the final mission. But here we are, back in Sector 6, where the last of, where the last of the majority of our upgrades waits here. Okay. These, these next few are a bit annoying. Absorb all those blue X just because I feel like it. I'm going to run back this way first. Build up your speed booster. And we're going to leap this way to the right here. Through this. Okay. This room here. This room is a jerk. You have to basically plant bombs in order to try to get platforms to raise. Get those things to raise. You may think, oh, well, power bomb. Watch this. Just watch. It raises all sorts of other ones, too. And the thing is, you have to have your speed booster to, to get through that. This room is a jerk. Especially if you don't know the how to do this. So, I'm going to reset the room, and I'm going to show you how it's supposed to be done. First thing you want to do, bomb the very center of this one. To create that one to appear. Now, you're going to... Bomb th th this corner here. Is it? Or is it? Is it this corner? No, okay, that one got that corner. That one got that corner. Bomb the center of this one here. I remember that. I could have sworn you had to do. I remember it was a bomb the corner of this one. Let's try to center this one here. Oh yeah! Oh, center that one. Duh, stupid. But in any case, that's how you do it. Center this one, center this one, cor- Basically, if you stay in the center and corners, you'll be safe. Thankfully. Now, run and- Oh, pfft. I messed up. Didn't run enough. Actually, I'll just jump right from here and- BAM! There's our final energy tank. All we have left are power bomb tanks. That's it. Now you have to. You're kidding me. I really did that. Ah! I'll be right back. Alright, there we go. Now you gotta shine spark your way across this way. There we go. Alright. Now let's try this again. Okay. Guess what? You got to build your Shine Spark again. The Speed Booster again. Blast your way through there and... Long jump! 
Uh, yeah, that's a pretty long ways to go for that. Okay. This is another room that's pretty jerkish. I messed it up. Three, four, five. I want to say, I think it's the fifth one, if I remember correctly. Oh, you're kidding me. The way to do this one, though, is you're going to have to... I think it's... Let's see, is it this one? Yes, I got it! You have to shine spark up that way for your power bomb tank. And the last one in here... It's it's another it's another shine spark one, so let's see. Run, run, run. Get just get that ready, and you cannot run across that. You'll just fall. You get the space jump shine spark up this way to get that power bomb tank. That floor is is deceiving. So okay, there we go. Let's get out of here. Yeah, sec the sector six ones are jerks. Okay. Okay, do not fall into that. You want to go this way first. There's a another upgrade up here. And I... Dang it, I messed up. I messed up. Okay, what you got to do is wait for one of these things to... Is to get over... Is to get up over there. Move faster! Fast! Okay, here we go. And use the fission missile to to freeze that, so you can get up, so you can get across there, because that's because those are those are more fake blocks down there that you will just fall through. All right. Now that we're done with that, we actually ha have to go back to, to the restricted zone. What's over there? Um, did we already destroy the lab? Yes, but they hit an upgrade right there. One that we couldn't get until after we triggered that event. Which meant we had to make that loop again. That's pretty jerkish, if you ask me. Alright, what you gotta do here is... Shine Spark here. Get in the middle here and jump up. Yep, there you go. Powerbomb tank. We have almost every single up upgrade in the game now. There's only one more left. Only thing left to do now at this point is navigation room and talk to Adam. Samus, we're done here. Lead the rest of the Federation. We should be preparing to evacuate the station. Are you joking? Do they know how dangerous the eggs are? How quickly they reproduce? Uh, the Federation has taken an interest in the X and SAX. They believe this life form has, has endless potential of application. Oh, they haven't given up their crazy ideas. This is ridiculous! The eggs are heartless abominations! What potential could they have? It is not necessary that you understand such matters. The Federation is coming out. You should just leave quietly. This is madness! They won't stand a chance here! The station will devour them! What could be worth the risk? Capturing the SAX, of course. Are you serious? Do they think they can succeed? It will certainly be difficult. They don't expect your help. They knew you would try to destroy the SAX. That's why they stopped sending you support data. WHAT?! The plasma beam modification was ready some time ago, but they withheld it to keep you from engaging the SAX. Yet somehow you restored that function on your own. They also tried to withhold the diffusion missile upgrade because they didn't want you to become, grow too powerful. But they had already sent it and you tracked it down. Bravo, Samus! Uh, I'm really hating the Federation now. They must cancel this mission. Open a channel to HQ. I won't let this happen. They are already on their way. Fools. As soon as the Federation ships land, the X will overwhelm them and absorb the knowledge and power of their occupants. The X are just waiting for the hunt to begin, and then they'll spread across the universe. Galactic civilization will end. The X hunger for form, knowledge, and power. They mimic these perfectly, but they cannot copy the soul. They're single-minded, instinctively seeking to increase in number. They're a plague, and the Federation underestimates their threat. The X must not leave here. I must destroy them all before the Federation arrives. The station has a self-destruct mechanism. I must use it to destroy this X here, and onto the planet. I must send them all to oblivion. Them, the station, and myself, if I have to.